What's up, Trade Hackers? Welcome to today's update. Today's Monday, July 20th. Let's take a look at the markets real quick. Starting with the S&P, uh, S&P is up about 28 and a half. The market just closed a little over 30 minutes ago. Dow up 97. But the real monster is the NASDAQ up over 3%. If you look at last week, we started to see a little bit of, of weakness in the NASDAQ compared to the other indices. You know, Russell has definitely been the weakest, but yesterday it showed a little bit of strength, whereas the NASDAQ showed a little bit of weakness. But back to the same old thing where the NASDAQ just exploded today up 3% and the Russell was down a half percent. So kind of back to that correlation of the Russell being weak and the NASDAQ being strong. I really thought after last week, what we were seeing, I, I thought we were going to st start to see a little bit of a rotation where the NASDAQ was going to start getting a little bit weaker and the Russell might potentially get stronger, but not the case today, my friends, not the case today. And then volatility just absolutely getting annihilated. VIX futures down almost six and a half percent, gold up about a half percent, silver. Now the, the divergence between gold and silver has been pretty interesting. You see gold first, just been kind of chopping around here the last week or two, whereas silver has just been on a tear to the upside. So decent little divergence there where silver has been much stronger than gold. A lot of times you see them kind of trading together. Bonds and notes up just slightly. Natty gas down a few shekels. And let's take a look at some of the other stocks. You've got, you know, all the big, obviously the NASDAQ up. So tech is up big, right? We've got Amazon up almost 8%. I mean, that's a that's a monster move, you know, for Amazon. Amazon's now up 68% year to date. We've got Alibaba up 3%. Uh, some of these other big tech, I mean, Tesla on another run. Tesla, <laughs> Tesla up almost 10%. You know, just kind of had that big spike kind of bounced around a little bit and back on its way. So big moves in a lot of stocks, but still still some stocks with some red, right? We've got banks were kind of flat to down. You, you look at travel was down. You, your airlines were down. Boeing down a little bit. Delta Airlines down 3%. So a little bit of a mixed bag. Definitely not a full force correlated move in either direction, but tech, tech having its day. Now, the other thing I want to mention is earnings. So we've got earnings, and here are some of the notables for the week. Uh, so we have IBM, which announces after the market closed today. I was looking at an iron duck in IBM, but just didn't get it to set up correctly. Sometimes you have that case where if the implied volatility is not high enough or the stock's not priced high enough, you just can't quite get it to work. So passed on IBM. Tomorrow, we've got United Airlines, so it'll be a little bit of a tell as far as what's going on in the travel airline industry. And then the couple big ones on Wednesday after the close, we've got Tesla, Microsoft, Chipotle. So three big names after the close on Wednesday. And then Thursday before the market opens, you've got another airline, you've got Southwest, you've also got a, a big tech in, in Twitter. And then on Friday before the open, uh, Verizon would be the only one that we would even consider looking at. So some big names announcing, and then we got some big names the following week as well. So that's what's happening. What did we do today? Well, we uh, a couple things on the day trading front. Had a nice positive day to start out the week, a little over $1,300. Traded about seven different stocks. Did a couple pairs trades in NASDAQ versus Dow. The pairs trades were unsuccessful. Both of them were small losers, but uh, overall had a big day in Amazon up over 1300 bucks, and some decent little winners in a, in a couple others. So that's going well. And then the, and by the way, speaking of the day trading, our course on day trading is August 6th. So mark your calendar. It's going to be about four o'clock central. We'll be sending out the details here in the next week or so. Uh, so look for that. So day trading. And then the other things we did today is we closed out an iron duck in rut in the Russell. So as prices just kind of hanging around, booked a beak profit on our rut iron condor, added another weekly double calendar in SPX. And then uh, that's about it. Hope everybody has a great evening. Talk to you tomorrow.